welcome back. I know you guys aren't able to come to the aquarium right now, so we're bringing the aquarium to you. Now, last time we learned about some amazing flightless birds, which got us thinking we should visit some other birds. So Scarlett is actually exploring all over this hall to get the coolest animals, in her opinion, to you guys. But here I am with Alyssa. Alyssa is on our endotherms team. Alyssa, tell us about a little bit what you do. So I am the primary keeper of our Asian birds. So I take care of all the birds in this area and make sure that they have the best care they can. Very, very cool. That sounds like a great time. What is the difference between these birds and penguins? Other than, of course, these guys aren't swimming right now. That's true. These birds aren't the excellent swimmers like penguins are. These birds are capable of flying and fly very well. And these birds also live in really warm climates, really warm regions of Asia. Interesting. So we learned with penguins that they're usually found in very, very cold, cold climates. So these are polar opposites, if you will. Yes. Anyway, so these guys look like they are living in a lush, beautiful rainforest. So can you tell me a little bit about their home? Yes, so these birds live in pretty dense forests around Asian islands. The forests are very hot, very humid, and with those forests, these birds actually help those forests grow. These birds really, really like to eat fruit and seeds, and so they'll eat those fruits and they'll actually pass the seeds along in their poop, which is nice fertilizer to allow more plants to grow. So not only is that amazingly fascinating, but their poop helps plants grow. Yes. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. So it looks like these guys live pretty harmoniously within the plants. So the plants help them by providing a home and then they poop out the next generation of plants. That's right. So it seems like they're really helping the forests. My question is, can we help the rainforests too? We can. There's actually a lot of ways here in Utah that we can help forests all around the world. And one of the most important things is palm oil. Uh, it's in almost all of our products, from shampoo to soap to chocolate. Uh, there's a really great app that we can check out that will help us find sustainable palm oil that helps protect forests and help the animals that live in those forests. They have sustainable homes. Here at the aquarium, we actually do change their habitats a lot here for positive ways to help these birds out. Feel free to check out the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo Palm Oil apps. It's free in the app store and doing that can help birds like these amazing ones as well as all the animals that depend on the rainforest to survive. But you said here we do some things to change their environment a little bit. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so we change up their environment pretty regularly. One of the ways that we do that is through enrichment. So we will provide them a variety of enrichment almost daily to bring new mental stimulation and exercise to our birds. We can toss other crickets and new worms out for them to go forage for. Uh, they also really like to share new plants to build their own nests here. Interesting, that is amazing. Thank you so much for sharing your knowledge. Feel free to check out our next episode. We're gonna see some amazing new things involving enrichment, just like Alyssa just talked about. See you guys next time.